Good evening. Okay, that was my notification that I am live. So can you guys hear me? I have muted it now, so. Okay. I see a few of y'all here. Just waiting to confirm that you can hear me. The thumbs up means you can. Good evening. Awesome. Okay, y'all can hear me. So Facebook um, comments are up and so are YouTubes. So yay, good evening. Perfect. Okay, so I'm actually on time shocking i'm usually on time for everything in life but uh when it comes to technical stuff we're at we're at their mercy right okay so good evening everyone we're gonna let everyone trickle in um let's see okay so perfect so today is november 1st oh a new month it's crazy how this year has gone by. Um, I have a couple housekeeping notes. I normally try to throw these in in the middle of the video, but I don't want to forget tonight, and my brain is not, um, um, it's not normal right now. <laughs> um, I'll explain in a little bit. Um, so three things. We have a new host code. It's already over on my blog, so there's that. Um, today I posted the holiday adhesive totes on my website. You have two options, um, and there's actually four because you can either pay for priority mail and have it sent faster, or you can just do first class. So we have the full uh, adhesive tote. It'll look just like this. Actually, I'm gonna not put the adhesive in here, and I'm gonna put it in a in a bag so that when it gets transported, if something were to get opened, it wouldn't damage anything. Um, yeah, so this is the full one, and then this is the mini. And it'll be available until the 15th of the month, okay? So there's that. You guys have seen these before. I've made them, I've done these. I usually do them twice a year. Earlier this year, I tried a different container. Uh, it wasn't as popular, so I went back to those mesh bags. And the 12 days of Christmas starts next week. And here's the thing. This is not getting posted on my blog. You have to be a newsletter subscriber. You have to join my mailing list. So if you've been on my mailing list before and you've unsubscribed, you definitely want to resubscribe. Um, I'm going to put the sign up box on my blog tomorrow. I didn't have enough time today to get it done. Um, but the projects are already designed. Um, and we'll start next week, but they're only going to my newsletter subscribers. That's it. I'm not posting them on my blog and they're really cute. Uh, all 12 projects are using a box template that I've already created. So that because I'm not doing videos, I'm only doing written tutorials for these. That's why I'm using the box templates because you guys are already familiar with the box templates and you know how to use them. And you can refer back to one of my older videos using that box template if you need to. Um, so again, the sign up box will be on my website tomorrow. Um, it's already listed. Um, the, my Stampin' Basics video series is my current like um, mailing list sign up thingy. But this will be specifically to the 12 days of Christmas. Okay, that's it. That's all my housekeeping notes. And if you have any questions, let me know. I will make sure that um, I look back at the end and check for uh, questions. So Becky says, I have a new mat. I do. It's the flip side. So all of these mats come with two sides. The other side is, is the blue that y'all saw me with last week. So tonight we're trying green. We're making a really cute little project uh, tonight. I think you're gonna love it. I love it. So the first layer is pool party, and this measures eight and a half by two and three quarters. And then we have another piece of 
pool party that measures three and a half by two and a half. We have another layer that I went ahead and cut out using the seasonal labels dies. And then another piece that measures two and three quarters by a quarter. We have two pieces of the Sweet Stockings Designer Series paper. Um, two and a half by three and a half and two and five eighths by one. These two pieces of basic white need to measure um, two and five eighths by three and five eighths. And then I've got a bunch of little scraps for our stamping. I'm still trying to use up that um, those bingo scraps. So there's all of our pieces. And now we'll slide these over and we'll stamp. Not on these two. Those are the two that's not getting cut. We're, u blah, 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 blah. We're using the sweet little stockings. Um, oh, I just noticed that the, um, the words were on the screen. I wonder how it interprets my little blurb there. Um, so we're using the sweet little stockings <laughs> stamp set and dies, the coordinating dies. And we're also using the uh, Tasteful Texture Embossing Folder, okay? And I already have my image re images ready. We're using Memento Ink and Pool Party Ink. And I'm grabbing all of the images. And we're using three sets of blends, a crumb cake, pool party, and real red. And because this is a photopolymer stamp set, we want to use our stampin' mat so that our images are nice and crisp. Okay, so we're going to start with the stocking. Okay, there's the first one. And then we're gonna stamp the puppy dog face. I'm gonna call this Miss Bella. She was so cute last night with the sugar treaters. We only had 12. That was it. Um, but I guess I should say I'm happy that we had 12. Our street is not finished. Um, being developed. So not a lot of people come on this road or come down this road for that very reason. Okay, that is all we're doing with the Memento ink. We're gonna be using the little stars with Pool Party. Okay, so I'm gonna stamp that that's pretty good for setting down <laughs> and I normally stand so um, yeah that's pretty good now we've got some coloring to do so if you need to go grab a drink of water or get something I'll be coloring for a couple minutes. Uh, I'm gonna take the dark real red and color the hat. So I um, have to share with y'all that um, we received some really sad news um, on Friday. One of our very, 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 very close friends uh, passed away suddenly. And um, I will not be working much this week. Um, 
yeah, I won't be working much. So if you've sent me an email and I haven't answered, or if you send me an email this week and I don't answer immediately, we are, it's, yeah, that's all I can say is it's, it was sudden and, and very shocking and, um, yeah. And out of respect for the family, I don't really want to go into a lot of detail, but a lot of details, but it is extremely difficult for, for their family and, and for all of us. Um, I was going to make those um, projects for the, um, my trick-or-treaters. Um, so on Thursday, I shared that video of those cute little origami boxes, and I was all prepared to make them for the trick-or-treaters, and I even showed them to my husband because I had started them. And, um, of course, when that happened, um, everything flew out the window, and so... The other night, what was that, last night, David said, well, where's your boxes that you were going to make everyone? I'm like, dude, we, everything just, um, yeah, flew out the window. So I did not give those boxes. I feel guilty. I wanted to, but there was no time. Um, now I'm going to use uh, crumb cake. This one's the dark. And then now I'm gonna use the light. I'm trying to remember how I how I colored it. Um, okay, now I know. <laughs> I had to look. A little bit more, and we're almost done. Then we'll. Uh, cut uh, the images out using the dies. If you have not looked at this uh, bundle, um, it is one of my favorites. And I was just waiting for um, the Halloween projects to be done. Although we could have used this for Halloween, right? Okay, so here's the dies we're using. We're gonna use, and all of these are from the coordinating dies. Uh, and then this is that seasonal labels one that I used uh, for this layer. So we're gonna emboss that. In fact, I'll go ahead and put it in here so that we'll do that. And then the rest of these we're gonna cut out using the dies. So let me just get rid of this mat. And get my machine real quick. We're using the big one tonight. Okay, so um, give me a moment to remember. So we are using, I have to do this every time. I don't know if y'all do. Um, I have to, I cannot remember. So when you're using, thank goodness for the number one, right? When using the 3D embossing folders, you just want a one and a four. Thank you. Yes, so we have our one. And then here's my embossing folder. And then number four.
Thank you guys. I'm trying to not look at the comments because honestly, I don't want to cry. Um, so I will say thank you, but I'm going to try to avoid looking just because. Yeah. Um, okay, so now we're going to be cutting. So I have a one, two, and a three. And then another three will go on top. But let's see. We're going to place this one here. And um, I'm going to do a couple at a time. I think as long as I use the um, purple tape that I should be okay to do a couple at a time. I decided I better stand up for this part. Ooh. I did cut this one crooked. Oh well. It's not the end of the world. Whoever gets it will love it. Probably my friend Sandra. Okay, there's that one. So now we have two more. Just the puppy face. Isn't it got a, it's got a, such a cute little face. Last night, one of the trick-or-treaters, Bella, stuck her nose out the door. I, I went out every time a trick-or-treater came. I went on the porch. I had my little cauldron of candy, and uh, Bella stuck her nose out. And I said, this is Bella. And one girl said, oh, I have a friend. Her name is Bella. <laughs> I'm like, yep, yeah, it's a popular name. They were so cute. The trick-or-treaters and Bella. Okay, we're done cutting. Okay. All that clinking. Look at how cute that is. Now this one, you don't technically have to use a die. You could just cut it with your scissors but if you use the die it kind of gives it like a little raised embossed edged edge and i like that okay now we're ready to make this little holder so we're going to get the simply scored scoring tool and we're going to score this i have to get my cheat sheet Let's see. We're gonna score it at four and a quarter and four and three quarters. So four and a quarter, four and three quarters. And then we're gonna take this piece here. This is the three and a half by two and a half. And we're gonna score it on the long side at half an inch, one inch, two and a half, and three. And then we're gonna turn it on the two and a half inch side, which I like to call the portrait side. And we're gonna score it at half an inch and one. Okay, now let's do some cutting. So we're gonna cut up to that second score line and then we're gonna remove this section and this section and then trim this little tab. That's how it looks. So now we wanna do the same thing over here. Okay. So there's that. Now fold on the score lines, burnish with your bone folder. We'll set this aside for a minute and then we'll fold this one. OK, 
Okay, I'm gonna take a 1 8 circle punch. You can use the detailed trio punch if you want and, and make a hole. Um, just in the middle there, like that, okay? Now we're gonna take one of those basic white layers and add it to the front here. Let me get my liquid glue. Okay, now we're gonna add one inside here as well, down here. And now I'm actually gonna glue this part down. This piece is gonna get added to the front, just like that. Oh, look how cute they are. Oh, I hate covering them up. Okay, there's that. Now, open this up. And this little piece here is gonna go inside here. And now we're gonna add this little strip inside here too. I wish there was a mute button on here just for like a second. I'd like to mute it. <gasps> okay, now that part's done. So we wanna add the little hat to him. I don't know why I closed my glue. And I'm gonna add the glue here on his, on his head. <laughs> so cute. So now we need to assemble this little box. So I'm gonna put a dab of liquid glue on the two tabs. And hold it for a second. And hold that for a second. Okay, now. It doesn't matter how you do this. You can do it like this. I didn't use my bone folder, so my score line is not real good. It's a little it's a little cattywampus, but that's okay. It won't be shown or seen. I'm just holding it for a few seconds to let it dry. Now we're gonna add some tearing tape to it because we're gonna add it um, to this layer here.
So last night I had some kids that, um, when they came up, I just let them get their own candy out because we had lots of different choices. And and I told, I told them they could take two or three. And <laughs> some of them only took one because they were real, I think they were scared. I don't know. And one little kid put their hand in and just grabbed a handful. I laughed so hard. I'm like, I love it. That's probably something I would have done when I was a kid. I'm sure I did. Okay, now this is going right in the middle of this layer. Oops, okay, wait. It's crooked. Not centered. You want to center it. Okay, that's centered. Let's doctor this thing up a bit. We're just going to whack off half of it. And then this is going to go here, but we need to add our ribbon first because it, we want to make sure that we put it so that it can be shown. This is the pool party, pool party <laughs> striped grow grain ribbon. I'm a little fumble fingers today. There we go. Isn't that pretty? And now this is gonna go here. Ignore my crooked cutting of my stocking. Um, I almost put that on wrong. There we go. Okay, so this is gonna get popped up. I'm using my mini. Some people say that their uh, mini ones are not um, thinner than the regular ones. Mine are. They're a little bit thinner. I'm using tear and tape again. should be good. Smush the dimensionals on there. I should have stood up when I cut that, but oh well. And now this one we're just going to slide under there, okay? So I'm just going to add a little bit of liquid glue just on one side and slide it under the stocking at an angle. And then we're going to use a regular dimensional on the puppy face. Okay, wait. Let me pick it up and smush it. There we go. Okay. And now we add our little Kit Kat bar. It will hold either a Kit Kat or it will hold um, this little Hershey, Hershey candy bar. I'll show you that in just a second. Oh, we got to add embellishments. Wait a second. Come back here. Almost forgot. 
I think I did that last week too, didn't I? Okay, so a big one, a medium size one, and a little one over here. You could use rhinestones too if you want, but these matte decorative dots are cute. This is not pool party. It's one of our, I don't even know the color. Somebody help me out here. But it looks good with it, right? Um, okay, so this comes out and then this slides in there. So there you go. Cute, right? <laughs> Thank you. I think it's adorable too. Yeah, so it opens up. Um, you can write a little message right there. I don't know if it'll stand. Oh yeah, it stands too. Let, hold on, let's make sure it stands. Yeah, so it stands with uh, the candy in there too. So isn't that so cute? Thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna look uh, for questions now. And um, <laughs> I need to hold it up too so y'all can see it a little bit closer. Okay, so I'm gonna look for questions. I'm gonna remind you, sign up for my um, 12 Days of Christmas and don't forget about the adhesive totes. And then now I'm gonna look for questions. I did not cheat. I did not have a single piece of candy last night. Aren't y'all proud of me? Okay, so. Um, how do I like my machine? I love my Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. It's and it and it's smaller than that Big Shot. Yeah, I love it. And it's white, which is my favorite color. <laughs> um thank you guys. I'm looking on YouTube first because I never really know how to answer everyone over there. Okay, so that was all the questions on YouTube. So now I'm going to hop over um so how do you get so this person says how do they get a notification for my lives if you subscribe so you're on youtube subscribe to my channel and then make sure you hit the little bell to get notifications um and if that doesn't work send me an email right here helpdesk at chickenscratch.com and i'll help you but yeah, you should just be able to subscribe to my channel, but make sure you click to get notifications, okay? So now I'm going to look back on the Facebook ones and um, see um, what questions there were. Eat that Kit Kat bar. Look, it has, a, it has an O on it, which means I can't eat it. You know what O means? old <laughs> i dug it out of a, a of expired candy box because i have to mark it because i don't want to my husband comes in here all the time and tries to eat the candy so i have to mark it when it's old if i'm using it for a current video <laughs> um vicky wants to know what's on the end of my take your pick tool that is a um a hot glue gun finger protector so when i use my hot glue gun to make things um this protects my finger and i just stuck it on here to stretch it because it, it was too tight on my finger <laughs> okay let's see you could put a little glue dot on the candy and i have glue dots listed in the supply list for you to do that yeah i just didn't do it oh yeah even in evergreen is the color i think even in evergreen is the color of these, but it goes well with with pool party too, right? Um, let's see. Thank you guys. <laughs> um, let's see. 
Okay, I don't see any more questions. Oh, I'm, I see more now, but no questions really, just condolences. So thank you guys again very much. Um, okay, any, let me scroll back to the bottom and see if there's any questions. So um, what I'll probably do tomorrow is go ahead and get this uh, on my blog, just so you'll have the video and and the picture. I probably will not be able to do the inspiration sheet because I'm cooking a meal for, uh, for the family. Um, yeah. So we took them food on Friday and, uh, and we're going to do it again tomorrow. So I will try my best to get it on my blog, but you guys have got this video. So I gave you all the measurements. I didn't mess any of them up. And, um, and I will be here on Wednesday again for um, maybe a card. I'm not sure. It depends if I can whip up a card. <laughs> Some it's, Sometimes it's easier for me to make boxes. So when I'm stressed out, I boxes and bags are always my go-to. But um, I do have a couple fun fold cards planned. I, it just depends on how I feel on Wednesday. So I will see y'all um, on Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. Thank you guys so much. Have a great night and thank you for being here. I appreciate it.